Whoa, okay. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. James. It's empty. Okay. That is insanely dark. Um, please gainer, welcome back to another episode of Undertale. Um, now in the last video, I forgot. Um, ooh, okay, this is eerie. Um, in the last video, I think, was when we beat Metaton. Finally. Um... But now we're nearing the last boss of the game, so what we have to do is go... Elevator is in use. Okay, so what we have to do is we have to go back and we have to hang out with everybody, like uh, Alphys and Undyne. We already hang out with Papyrus. We might have to hang out with Sans. I don't know. Uh, but in order to get the true pacifist ending, we have to go hang out with Sans. So... I have a lot of walking to do, and I'll see you when I'm done. Oh, hey Muffet. Hello, mate. There you are, dearie. You are always welcome in my parlor. Just stay on your best behavior. <laughs> Bye, Muffet. Oh, hey, look, it's Alphys' lab. There's no response. Oh, uh, how do I hang out with Alphys then? Hey, Papyrus. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Will you hang out? Yeah. Sure. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. Make sure to give her this. She loves these. I love that door. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi, I don't think we've... <laughs> Why don't you two come in? I love Papyrus, he's great. Ooh, there's a sword. Here, Undyne, my friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, are we ready to start? Oopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun! Oh, I love Papyrus. I almost said Sans. Ugh. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me further? Is that it? Nah. Then why are you here? <gasps> what? I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. <laughs> really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Wow, I see you. Bring back 2005. Dang it. Alright, whatever. My, if the green looks weird, sorry. Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I'll never be your friend. Now get out of my house. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you. Wah, 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 wah. What a joke. I can be friends with a whippy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. This game is so weird if you really think about it. I'll make you like me so much you won't be able to think of anyone else. That is a little weird. It's the perfect revenge. Ah. Why don't you have a seat? Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. Oh my god. I'll say, what would you like? Chill! Hey, don't get up! You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Yeah. Um, why not just point to what you want? You can use the spear. Sugar goes in tea. I want to drink pure sugar. Soda. Hot chocolate. Ooh. Tea box. 
Um, blatantly correct choice. Alright, I'll just go with what the game thinks is correct, even though I really don't like tea. Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a minute for the water to boil. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. I feel like she'd talk to you like Pennywise. Careful, it's hot. <laughs> yeah, she'd definitely talk to you like Pennywise. It's not that hot, just drink it already. <laughs> Take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Let's see. Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. There is glass all over your kitchen. Hey, you know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. Ooh. You know... I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. <laughs> Papyrus is a dork. But, uh, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well, I mean... It's not that he's weak, he's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you, and he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, uh, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry. I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? Tea is never good cold. And I don't like tea, but tea is just not good cold. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. That's right, nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer in cooking, which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you could ever imagine. What? <laughs> Freed? We're gonna be like best friends. Jesus. Undyne is not someone I want to spend time with. Let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How you pound? Strong. STRONG! You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. Yeah! Jesus! Undyne is terrifying. This is how you do, um... Strong female characters. <laughs> uh, we'll just scrape this into the bowl later. But for now... <laughs> we had the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest! <laughs> yeah! Uh, just put them in the pot. How oh, you put them in? Fiercely! You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm into it. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Ah! 
Carter! <coughs> Doing her voice is killing me. <coughs> Jesus! Ah, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stovetop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. All right. Uh, hotter. Um, undyne. Hotter. Hot. Uh, the undyne. Your house is on fire. Wait, that's too. Where'd she get that stove at? Like, you just keep turning and it turns into fire. Oh my god! Ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. <laughs> so, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Uh, uh, oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you have that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay then. Because if we're not friends, it means I could destroy you without regret. Oh, come on! I've been defeated, my house is in shambles, I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch. Undying. Alrighty, it's the only way you can regain my lost pride. Whatever you say, bro. Now come on, hit me with all you got. Act. Fake. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. Oh, do I not have to fight her? One. Oh no, I hurt someone. Does that mean it, the pacifist run ends? What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me at full force? You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Huh. You know, what, what would have happened if I just killed her there? <laughs> like, just straight up hit her. I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid... I don't know what that says. But, the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now I know, you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. <laughs> just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him... He probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? <laughs> oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the crap out of you. That's what friends are for, right? <laughs> now, let's get the heck out of this flaming house. Oh my gosh, her house is crying. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again some other time, but, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with the Papyrus. So if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk to. Well, see you later, punk. Wait, what window did Papyrus jump out of? Alright, that was, uh, Undyne. Now I just have to find, uh, Alphys. Where is Alphys? Hey, punk, what's up? Uh, you. Papyrus, how can you stand this cold? What the peach? Alright, so I'm just gonna ignore all of that. I'm just gonna go this way. I think this might be the best way to do Alphys' thing. Is just, like, continue going until I'm told to go do Alphys' thing. Alrighty. Hibbity hopping all the way over here. Let me just save this here. New home. Whoa, what? Oh, it looks just like Toriel's house. Do do do. Oh, you can fight things in. Oh, a long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Ah, a key. You took the key, put it on your phone's keychain. Oh, cool. Asriel, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the- Oh, this music gives me goosebumps. He brought the human back to the castle. 
So that's why people like this game. Oh, a present. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Sure. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Um, I'm good. I don't need a dagger. Room under renovations. Ah, a key. Oh, come on. Over the time, Israel and the human became like siblings. The king and the queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of the hope. You took key and put it on phone's keychain. Oh, there's a mirror. Despite everything, it's still you. Aw, how great. You unlock the chain. Cool. Go this way. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Oh, okay. The sick human had only one request to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. I'm not crying, you're crying. The next day, the next day, Da, da, da. The human died. Oh no, the human died. Oh hello. As real, racked with grief, I'm getting goosebumps. I don't know if you guys can see that because my camera quality sucks. Absorbed the human soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. As real, the kid did. Okay, cool. Whatever. Oh hello. With the human soul, As real crossed through the barrier. He carried the human's body into the sunset. Back to the village of the humans. Aw. Asriel reached the center of the village. There, he found a bed of golden flowers. He carried the human onto it. There's a lot of golden flowers in this game. Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But... Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human. Asriel smiled and walked away. Wounded, Asriel stumbled on. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. Do, 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 do. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The human had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will let us go. King Asgore will give us hope. King Asgore will have us all. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? Ribbit. You're going to be free. No, I'm good. What's down here? Oh, save point. Last corridor, it says. Ooh, spooky. Do, 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 What happened? Oh, hey, Sans. Ooh. Three o'clock? 
So, you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What's EXP? It's an acronym. It stands for Execution Points, a way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for Level of Violence, a way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it is to, it, easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you'll hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But, but you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refuse to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. I wouldn't understand what he was saying, unless I was reading the subtitles. Now, you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Dang it! Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That's right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Okay, so I think that's the cue to go see Alphys. Oh my god. What the heck is over here? Whoa, okay. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. James. It's empty. Okay. That is insanely dark. Um, <laughs> that got really dark really fast. Um, I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see that. Huh. That's delightful. Oh, hey, Asgore. Dum needle. Oh, there's someone there. Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Oh. Uh, I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing, flowers are blooming. Perfect weather for a game of catch. Huh? You know what we must do. When you are ready, come into the next room. Fun fact, I am idiot. I am whole idiot. How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. Because you can't hang out with Alphys until you've beaten... Um, until you've beaten this boss fight first. I'm not ready either. Aw, oh, man. It doesn't even give you, like, the determination thing. It's just like, alright, this is it. Whoa! Oh, this boss fight is gonna be hard. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If... If by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Let's just continue. Uh, I see. This is it, then. Ready. Hmm. 
That's dark. You're filled with determination. Let's go, human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, I am... Oh, bruh! I needed that! So, fun fact, you have to fight him. Which I have no experience doing. 75. Oh, shoot. Whoa, he has... Az uh, not Azriel's. Uh, Toriel's attacks. I definitely should have stocked up on food before this fight. Whoa! How on earth? I'm gonna lose. I already have no health! You equip the locket. That did nothing for me. So that's how we're gonna do, huh? Ooh, I just got like that. Uh, rage. Lots of rage. Um, I'm gonna end the video here. So, if you like this video, like it. If you like this video, my wonderful personality, you should subscribe. If you didn't like the video, dislike it. Comment down below if you think you should better about making constructive criticism. Also, check out my Twitter and Instagram. Discussion below on my Discord. If you want to talk to me, too, my videos. So, without further ado, I'm Cameron. I'm out. Bye.